And yeah. you, you've got a situation where people are, are being forced to rethink their options, all right? As what we do in our, our coaching prep course in uh, getting people ready for starting strength is we deal with the – um, we deal with the the basic science underpinnings, the physiology, the physical science, and this is not terribly complicated stuff. But we're mm-hmm. we're teaching that to our satisfaction from the standpoint from where it will be used by the end user, by the coach in the gym. All right, mm-hmm. we're 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 teaching physiology, but we're teaching it from the perspective of the use of that information not to pass the midterm, mm-hmm. but the use of the information. And you have got this excellent book, Ultra Learning. I encourage yeah. everybody to, to invest in this. This is a, there, there, I haven't read but a little bit of it yet, but I've, I've looked through it enough to know that it's going to be terribly useful and that it will probably have an effect on how we teach our coaching prep course. Mm-hmm. And uh, let's discuss uh, some things right now that you you talk about in the book about how to learn. What is ultra learning? So the idea behind ultra learning is kind of to give people more options. We're talking about how college is overpriced and how, you know, really the idea that, okay, well, I'm going to go back and go to school for four years when you're in the middle of your career. Who Who has the money or time to do that? No one does. And so at the same time, we live in a world that's getting more complicated, that the expectation is that you're going to know a lot of things, not only in your life, but also in uh, your workplace and everything. You're going to have to have higher skills. Things are getting more sophisticated. And so learning is important, but maybe education is not always delivering that. So the idea is how do you really teach yourself these skills? How do you teach yourself the hard skills that matter for your career? And I think one of the things that is a real challenge there is even though we spent a lot of time in school, none of us have really been taught how to learn. Maybe we've been kind of, we've hobbled our way through knowing how to study to pass some tests, but to really learn meaningful skills, most of us have not ever had to set up a project where we're going to acquire some professional skill. We've just kind of fallen into it by chance. And so this creates a real problem because a lot of people are, like you mentioned, the kid who his parents wanted him to go to college. They don't know any other way to succeed in life and any other way to get these skills. And so I think that investing in understanding how learning works, how you actually acquire skills is so important because if you don't know how to acquire skills yourself, then you're kind of at the mercy of whatever programs are around you and however much they cost because you want to have a good life that requires having skill. 